when there's too much risk. If there are structural problems with an asset or there's something that we just can't cure easily and we got to take on too much risk, then that would be a time where we would just not be able to perform, but that hasn't happened yet. That had a big impact on the market. I mean, when you pretty much make a moratorium on evictions, I mean, come on, that's going to be a, a big change, right? However, locally, especially here in Orange County, there wasn't a lot of people that were behind on their rent, so there wasn't a huge issue. I would absolutely buy in Santa Ana. Now, there's a lot of not so pretty rent control restrictions that are coming down the pike, so we have to be aware of that when buying a property, but I'd be open to it. Maybe there's a lot of people that might be selling. I might go the other way and start buying. I think the question is, are sellers paying tax or completing a 1031 exchange? There is an uptick in sellers paying tax as some of them feel that the capital gains tax rates are gonna be higher in the future. And then there's always people completing 1031 exchanges. Fact is, originally I'm from North Carolina. I lived there until I was 25 years old and I got in my Tahoe, drove out to Southern California to start selling apartment real estate. That's a great question, and the answer is always gonna change because lenders come in and out of the market. I love working with Chase, their execution is great. I've got a couple really good brokers that are bringing me opportunities from various banks that are in and out of the market. Tips to buying off market, build a relationship with a broker or two that is active in the marketplace and that can give you a heads up when they're bringing a property to market. That's the best way to do it. Buy a little duplex or triplex, occupy one of the units, get great financing that way, and then the unit you occupy, get a couple of roommates. That's the way to go. You can do partial turns to occupied units, just depends on the scope of work. However, if you have a vacant unit at one of your properties, you can use that as a temporary place for your residents to stay while you renovate their unit. Just being patient because it's very competitive out there. It's very hard to find deals, but just having an open mind and opening up our criteria of buying and not staying in some specific one city. It's very hard to do that. Just depends on the type of deal that comes up, but if there's something that's larger that requires more equity, then absolutely we will be uh, reaching out to you, Kevin, uh, to see if you'd like to invest. There's a lot of lenders out there that'll lend on multifamily properties that have deferred maintenance or need repairs. It's just the health and safety issues that a lot of lenders are not gonna go around, such as smoke and carbons need to be installed, hot water heaters need to be strapped, there can't be any code violations or... I've done both. I've done investments with partners and those have been great. And I've done deals where I bought a little fourplex with $300,000 down and those have been good too. I'd say if I had to pick one, I'd buy my own property. It just depends. It depends on your credit, your balance sheet and uh, your experience. That's really what it's going to come down to. So depends on what you got going on is going to predicate if the lender is going to require you to have a partner. This is predicated on when you find the right deal. So if you find the right deal and you got time to do a cash out refi, then do it. If you don't find any good deals, then don't force anything and then wait until the opportunities arise, but don't wait for cycles. How do you start? Well, the first thing you need to do is get a mentor. And then the next thing you need to do is start investing in yourself because you're gonna get a better return on investment investing in yourself than any property will give you. They're out there. They're hard to find though, but they're out there. I would say, 605 corridor whittier downey norwalk those are all very competitive markets but you might find something there bellflower bell gardens inland empire possibly long beach <laughs>